problems was Stuart. This is a tough nugget, Alex Stewart. Right in line again, the ball bouncing above the pad and smashing into his arm. You think that when you have your arm guard on with your left hand, your front hand off, you have no problems with that one. It is backhand, the right. Apart from the three senior men of Ambrose, Walsh and Bishop, I would expect that Nixon McLean would definitely go to South Africa as well. Franklin Rose and perhaps Mervyn Dillon. But I think they certainly have to take a spinner. Ramna Ryan, I think, would be the man to go as a spinner. So six fast bowlers and the spinner Ramna Ryan. That's seven. Might have to take a pretty big squad, Bob. Ball. How far in advance of the tour will the selectors uh, pick that side, do you suppose? I don't suppose they'll pick that team until perhaps just about August, September near to the end of the English season so just to make sure that all the fellas that are playing in England are fit and well I would think on a tour of South Africa the West Indies will be thinking to take perhaps 16 players seven bowlers seven batsmen and two wicket keepers I would think oh. well that is very painful Stuart's in trouble here Leaping from a pretty good length, nipping back into Stewart. Look at this delivery. How do you play these? Wow. Yes, in fact, Stewart was looking to get his weight onto his front foot when that ball leapt up at him. Atherton just doing a bit of gardening there again to try and smoothen out that last spot but this certainly is a bit awkward for batting it's still there Alec yes still there just hurting a bit you can see the uh, reaction of uh, Michael Atherton at the other end so tough on England trying to force their way back into this series uh, deny that opportunity on the last day in Barbados if England play the better cricket they but will be quite pleased with their performance if they do manage to survive and give England a good start England haven't used uh, anything like as many players as uh, the West Indies during the uh, series Chris Silwood and Ashley Cowan have had uh, no opportunity He'll be returning home, uh, not having played any tests. It's well taken by Murray. Really leapt and seamed down the leg side. I'm not too sure that did not take a bit of the bat there on the way through. Looked very close. I think definitely a bit of an inside edge so technically a chance but I don't think too many people would really blame Junior Murray for that one very well played again by Michael Atherton these two may not be scoring any runs but they're doing a famous job for England at present yes it's important that they do survive these torrid periods but they have got to try and survive because I'm sure this pitch will even out a bit later on. Should be pretty good for batting, or at least. Let off for Atherton. <laughs> Through the slips again. This time Ambrose suffers. Well, Brian Laras did all the right things. Of course, he was the one spinning the coin, didn't have to call, but he won the toss and asked England to bat. And two chances now have gone a begging. Shimnarayan Chandra Paul, the man on this occasion, moving to his left. Alex Schrott. Pretty good average that in this series so far. Yet to get to three figures, but quite consistent. 
Stewart be happy with that average of uh, just around 45. Well, let's move several inches off the seam. And after North Africa and no youngsters. A strange sort of way. I think Atherton and Stewart are enjoying themselves out there. It's a real test of their technique. Extra bounce that time from Walsh. Of course, it's the bowler who gets the ball to move off the seam, but that one carrying through quite nicely to Junior Murray. Obviously the bowler has no control over the carry, he has the control over the direction that the ball moves. It's good bowling by Courtney Walsh, one away and then the next in, and a good carry. I get the impression, Bob, that if this pitch dries out, we just might get back to the usual ARG pitch, good for batting. Murray was on his way down the leg side and Walsh can't believe it he hasn't had any luck in this series with the ball all the drop chances seem to have been off Courtney Walsh and that's not a great start for Junior Murray definitely not a regulation catch this one and it goes between the first slip and the hit keeper I would have to say that was Junior Murray's catch the ball would not have carried on the full to Brandley.